Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a the window or the um, OS X theme on your computer. Now I know I made a video earlier, and that OS X theme was faulty. That is this one. I tried it. I looked at it one more time, and something told me not to do it. So um, I don't even know why I'm showing you this, but this is the one I'm going to have you download it is looks like this is the arrow theme and you have your little bar down here you just don't have your little boot logo if you want and if you want your little dock all you have to do is just get a little rocket dock and it'll work just fine um this theme I want, I'll show you the difference really quick go to personalize theme and then let's go to no no this one looks pretty cool. One of my other themes. And that's that loaded. There it is. And see that theme? And then, oh, I'll go to um my, my theme, my, my personal favorite, which is the app. Uh, which is the M11 theme, and there's the theme that you usually see me do all my videos on. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference. Now, I'll go to the Mac theme. Let that load. And okay. And you can see the text is different, and it just, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's better than this 30 megabyte program. With this, all you have to do is just drag and drop it. So, while I'm thinking about it, I want to get rid of that one now. Okay. So, while I am. Okay, I'm sure you're tired of me yakking, so I want to tell you how to get it now. What you need to do is open up your browser. Then go to Google. Then search um, OS X theme for Vista. And then I want you to scroll down to one that looks like this. <laughs> there's my other video, there's my other video. You can get that one if you want to, but it can screw up your computer. So I click on this one. Yep, it's loading. And then you'll see a page that looks like this. And then what you'll... Well, wait. Before I uh, continue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this theme so I can just do the whole process. So let me pause the video real quick and I'm going to get rid of this theme. Okay, I, I do not have the theme anymore. Um, this is my Windows 7 theme. I will show you really quick. And I, as you can see, I do not have a Mac theme in here. So to back to we, back to we are. Um, I want you to um, click download. Oh, and this link will be in the description. So. Okay, and then I want you to, you should have a rare file, so I want you to download, and then you'll get a little verification code, and then there is your verification code, and then click download. Then someone has bugging you with a pop up. And then, oh my gosh, who's. Where's the. I hear it. Uh, oh well. Wait for that to load. It might take a couple minutes for it to come up. Uh. Uh. 
looks like the code didn't verify, so let's do it one more time. T5J84. Download. Okay, there we go. Now, I want you to click save. Save it to your desktop. X this out. Close. It's amazing the time's going up and I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, that's my luck. Oh, uh, well, to kill time, see this program, you should get this program as a virtual computer. You can, I'll show it to you really quick. It's, um, it, um, runs on Linux, and I have Windows 7 on here. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, the theme is here, in a rare form. So, what you're going to do is you're going to have to extract that file by right-clicking, and 7-zip it. You can download 7-zip at downloads.com. Just search it and you will find it. You're done with this, so delete that. Open up this. Double click on this. Click on installation. Then click on application. Click this word, whatever this says. I have no idea what that says. But all I know is it means install because yeah, it, it, yeah, it's install. That's cancel. Don't click that. This is like Icelandic. I don't know. Click that. And then you should see two other little folders pop up. This is the theme. This is the themes folder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go start. And then search resources. Then once you have resources, double click on themes and then highlight these two drag and drop into your theme X out of this you can even delete it and right click prop on personalize theme Mac apply and okay I have just showed you how to get this theme onto your computer, you now have the Mac theme. This is a glitch free version. And now, it won't, this is the end of my video, but I'm going to go on a little bit more and tell you and help you if you're having problems. I'm going to go through, through a one troubleshooting problem. Um, if you get the classic theme, then that must mean that you have personalized your computer to run on optimum performance. So, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to start. Right click on computer, click properties, and then go down to performance. Uh, where is it? Hold on, let me find it. I know where it is. Just give me a second. I'm having a brain fart. Okay, that was my bad. You do not click performance. That that was my bad. You click ad, um, advan uh, no, oh, yeah, advanced system settings. Then you'll get a box that says system properties. X this out. And then you will need to go to performance. And then check um, let the windows choose what's best for my computer. Or in layman's terms, just make sure everything is checked. And that should fix it. I thank you for watching, and if you are having any problems, I should fix it, and again, I thank you for watching, I hope this helps you, and I will put, say for a fact, fact, <coughs> fact that this is glitch free, and please rate, subscribe, as there will be more videos to come, and I hope you guys have a great day.